So far, so good. So where is the greatest amount of stress? Or where do we have the greatest amount of displacements? How will this displace? Well, we can continue looking at the results. Before we look at the results, Simulation Express prompts us if we wish to optimize this design. We'll say no for now, but we can always come back to that. We'll begin by looking at the stress distribution. These are the von Mises, or the average stresses. Now the part is being deformed almost 600 times reality. The yield strength of the material is 90 KSI, but the maximum stress that we saw was under 11 KSI, again in that region where the force was being applied. We can animate this and save this as an AVI. And we can do the same for the displacements. The maximum displacement is at the tip. Again, the deformation scale is 600 times reality, but the maximum displacement 0.001349 inches. Other advantages of this tool, in addition to being easy to use and very fast, is that it helps us make better engineering decisions, as well in as well as giving us the opportunity to optimize this design and then generate a report and or share our findings in form of an e-drawing. So before we make a report or an e-drawing, let's go back to optimize and we'll say yes. We know that our yield strength of the material is 90 KSI and our maximum factor of safety was 8.4. Let's shoot for a factor of safety of 4 and control the overall thickness of the part. Let's say that we don't want it to grow any more than what it currently is at, 0.875 inches, and we want it to be no more, I'm sorry, no less than 0.1 inch. Within those criteria, Simulation Express can analyze the part and actually change its shape. It's going through a series of iterations, remeshing, and reanalyzing the part. Excellent. Not only did we redesign the part, but we saved some weight, all within a few seconds. Our initial design was almost two pounds. Our new design is less than a pound. We can animate the different steps it took to reducing the thickness. and then finally set the new design. Let's move on and generate a report. The report can include a cover page, an introduction, and a conclusion. We'll call this a stress analysis of the Paul. My name is Chris, and I work for Graphic Systems. You can also include a bitmap or a GIF or a JPEG of your company logo as well as the date. This is a first pass analysis of our Paul component. We virtually tested it for strength and then optimized its design. The conclusion is the part as originally designed was too strong for the operating conditions. SolidWorks helped us optimize this design for strength and weight. We give it a file name, and immediately Simulation Express will generate a web page. It takes some screenshots of our various uh, results. A web page opens up in the background, and we can save that off, including the JPEG images that were produced, and then ship them off to somebody. Last but not least, we can also generate an e-drawing, which is a great way to share your information with other people in and out of your organization. E-drawings is a free viewer downloadable from SolidWorks.com. It's a very small 
neutral file format, easily packaged up into an email, and the results from Simulation Express include the deformed shape, the color plot, and all the legends. Next, we're going to look at flow analysis.